Gemini Models channel and today we are going into edit mode in Blender. If you haven't installed Blender already, there is a video on my channel on how to install Blender. Make sure to like and subscribe to my videos because there are a lot of Blender tutorials that I've created and large projects too if you fancy doing those instead. Make sure to put in the comments if you have some ideas or are having problems in Blender because then I can help you or put a video out so that you can learn. So today in Blender, in edit mode, we will be going into a few different gadgets and buttons in Blender. Before we start though, I am just going to go into object mode and delete this original cube because I think we need a sphere or something large that we can create on. I'm just going to add a few more um, subdivisions to make it look more circular. Once done this, we can go back into edit mode. We can go into this annotation button. I use this sometimes in my videos, especially if I plan to create something. If I go back here, then we can create. There we go. I forgot to click my undone button. If you don't know how to undo something, just click up at the top by edit and un undo. This is also the button for kill Z and redo is shift kill Z, so on. So if you decide to create something in Blender and you decide, oh, I fancy having a line here and then another line here, sort of like a star shape, then then you decide, oh, in edit mode, I want to start doing different sculpting areas, maybe add a few um, random cuts adding this in, like something like that, then go ahead and use annotation, but I'm going to walk through these so it's easier for you to use. This one is extrude region. I'm quickly not going to use it on this sphere, it's probably the one um, that I wouldn't use on this sphere, and I'm just going to shift add a cube, move this across, with GY, if I go into object mode, I could decide to extrude a face. I'm just going to click on this face select here, here, and then extrude it. As you can see in the picture, it's extruding a face here. The next one is an insert face, and I'm just going to do it here. If you just insert face, you can start extruding and create some sort of play area or something similar. We go into the next one. We have bevel bevel is sort of making the areas or sides a bit smoother i use this in my castle tutorial so if you haven't seen that house slash castle video make sure to watch that because it's got a lot of these um edit mode gadgets in next is loop cut loop cut you use if you want more vertices or more polygons in your wit or if you're going a high poly object maybe you want to move these round and start like g something like that but i usually go for this i usually use this if i'm using some sort of play area or creating something similar so the next we have is a knife so say you have a vertice and you need to join it to another vertice but you don't really have a loop cut for it you can grab that vertice connect on then you can join to the vertice here if you don't like it just press escape and then you can redo it then you might when you're done press enter and it will come up here the next one we have is poly build now i use this sometimes but not loads this is just where you can move different vertices around or extrude such as the last one before um, the next one we have is spin. Now I use this on my bowling pin modifier and create a video. So if you have watched that, then you'll know how to use this. But I'm just going to create a curve, Bezier curve. Then if we find where that's gone, the GY. Ah. There we go, there it is. To get this forwards, to get this um, Bezier curve, looking at me straight or to have it being the only thing I can see just forward slash on your keyboard and you can see that fine you can see here it's not really looking the way we want it so I'm just going to rotate it 
so that we can see it. There we go. So say you wanted to create some sort of bars or something, I'm just going to move this across there. If we go into object mode or edit mode on this Bezier curve, it, it won't come up with the same things. There's like extrude, draw, which is where you can draw other angles. But I'm just going to quickly draw something here. And then with this net, this last one, there we go, with this last view, I'm just going to delete. There we go. And then I'm also going to delete that one. And this one. All right. Now it's probably what we want here, but these two are sticking out a lot more than I want them to. So I will delete them by pressing X and it will come up here. So if we go into object mode, we can create this into a mesh. We can click object and then convert to mesh. If you want to keep original, I would keep original because I use the original a lot if I decide to create another. So if we move this across a bit, we can focus only on this one. There we go. Then if we go into edit mode on this, then we can create a spin. Now you can see here, if we just spin it around, not really got much going on or anything going on in fact. So what I'm going to do is just a quick change on that, so make sure it's all selected. So click A, then since this is the if we accidentally selected, we can go on to this as select, select that one so that we can see the mesh instead of the curve. So if we go into edit mode, then go into Z, we can do this curve around. You can see now it still hasn't moved. You know why? We need to select all and then move it around. So as you can see here, there's like indices and vertices going into each other and that's not what we want we want it to be clean so that there isn't anything like that if we auto merge in here then we do a slight rotation something like that from down here we can also use auto merge here so if we do add it in a long move so this may be something you want to create for like a um cut something similar but what you could also do come in here just move that up and do go away on that all g y then you may want to decide to spin it this way there are tons of ways to spin different things and create different objects. So here we've got some sort of bars. If you add a bottom, which we might want to fill in here. I haven't fully rotated it all the way around. But other than that, we can see how they join. If we go in here, we may want to fill this all up. So we may want to select the bottom all of them it may take a while to select them and i'll show you when i selected them okay so i've selected them all and if i just rotate you can see they join in together so if i just escape and f that means i've filled the area down there so it's sort of like some sort of flower pot if you decide to add flowers into this and if we go there we can see there are a few more like smooth there is a randomized object as well which we may want to do just randomize these a bit so that it doesn't look perfect there is also a smooth which we may want to do so that they look nicer and more neat all right the next is edge split i don't use this a lot in my videos but sometimes i would sometimes i wouldn't there's edge vertice slide or vertex slide which is where you can slide them to the side or slide them wherever really next is the edge slide and you want to slide the edge to another and then there are a shrink or flatten which is where you can shrink or flatten push or pull 
If we go here, we can shrink them or flatten them. If we go to the next, it's shear or to the diameter to the sphere. If we go into this, we can see that they move around. Then there's rip region. I don't really use this tons, but you can grab a bit to see and it will just move wherever you put it. has failed on here as you can see because there isn't a vertice or another vertice that you can move from its original spot so you can sure you can actually move it around but you can't rip it out of something because it's the only vertice there that is everything for edit mode i hope you enjoyed this video i certainly have make sure to subscribe to my channel because it mean a lot to me and i really hope you subscribe and like this video because there are a lot more videos coming soon and there will be a lot more tutorials and large projects so thank you for watching